Some functions shown in the video are only supported by our current generation hex series interfaces. Details in description below. VCDS has the ability to go into control modules and automatically record a snapshot of all the live data or adaptation values, thus creating what we call channel maps. On our Rostec forum, we have a dedicated section for people to post channel maps of their cars. This helps the community by having a resource to view baseline values from known good vehicles. There is now a utility called Channel Map Alligator, or Alligator for short. Alligator makes posting channel maps a simple task. Alligator is part of the VCDS Label File Updater Package, a separate download from the VCDS software. You can download the VCDS Label File Updater from our web form. Please see the link in the description below. When you run the installer, unless you can read German, do not check this box. Most of our customers will have VCDS installed in the default location as shown here. If you have VCDS installed in a different location, click the Browse button and then point the updater to the correct location. Click Install. Once the update is done, click Finish and the alligator is now on your computer. With the engine at idle and up to operating temperature, start VCDS and click on Applications, then Controller Channel Map. Select Whole Vehicle, Can Only. Have Output set to Pre-Label File. Under Function, check the box for Measuring Values. If you also want to capture data for adaptations, check that box. Click on Go and VCDS will create the channel maps. With the engine at idle and up to operating temperature, start VCDS and go into Options. Set the debug value to 2, then click Apply. Now click on Auto Scan and select the chassis of your car. This will be the 7th and 8th digits of your VIN. With the chassis selected, click on Start. VCDS will now go into each module one at a time and capture live measuring block data and stored adaptation values. After you have run channel maps on your car, or for the automotive techs out there, those cars on the lot, go to the first screen of VCDS and click on the small VCDS icon in the top left corner and from the drop down menu select Open VCDS Folder. This will open the folder where VCDS installed. Look for the CM Alligator icon and double click on it. In the Alligator program, click on Browse and this will show you all the saved Autoscan files. The VIN number as well as the date and time are listed as part of the file name. Select the auto scan that was created when you ran channel maps and open it. Now click the copy button and a pop-up window will appear confirming data has been copied. Click OK. The data is now stored on the Windows clipboard ready to be pasted into a forum post. Log in to your Rostec web forum account. This forum is a free service to all registered Rostec customers. Scroll down to Reference Scans and Maps of Non-Broken Cars. Start a new thread. Put down the year, model, engine type, and if possible engine code for the subject. Note that with the current version of our web form, it may be helpful to click on this BB code button to toggle it off before you paste in the data from Alligator. Now in the body of the message, right click your mouse and from the context menu that appears, select Paste. Once the data is pasted, you can then post your thread. If you also did adaptation channel maps, go back to Alligator and select Adaptations, then click Copy. Once the pop-up message appears confirming the data has been copied, click OK. Go back to your forum post and reply to your own forum post pasting in the adaptation data. There is a limit to how much data can be put into a single post on the web form. As a result, if the data exceeds the limit, Alligator will break it down into smaller bytes. With the first byte copied to the Windows clipboard, start a new thread as before and post it. Then go back and copy the second byte and reply to your own thread. We ask that everyone who can contribute please do so. Even posting just an auto scan of your car is helpful.